What's up YouTube? Welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum, Chu. Yes, Chu's here today. If you're new to the channel, we we'll teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food as well as Malaysian and Chinese traditional food at home. Today, what are we doing, Mum? Yuk song. Yuk song. And if you don't know what that is, here's where well, it's in front of you right now. You can see it's basically lettuce filled with seasoned pork topped with crispy fried noodles. Yes. If you haven't had this before, you should try it. Unless you don't like pork, then you can try it actually with chicken. It works quite well. Yes. Um, I've seen a lot of places. It's expensive to do it like this, but you can do it with prawns. Yes. Yeah. You can do it with tofu. Tofu, actually, yes. yeah, it's brilliant. If you want to make this vegan, it's very simple mm. to make vegan. Yes. So, yeah, we'll get on with that. Yeah. Don't go away. No, don't, don't go away. Can I go now? Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's the audience not to go away. Uh, okay, right. Not you. Okay. <laughs> You're staying. <laughs> Right, so this is super simple. Um, what we have here is some little gem lettuce. Most places will use iceberg, but I'm gonna use little gem because it's better for photos. <laughs> and plus, I, I think they be make better shaped cups. We've got these Lucky Boat rice noodles here. Um, these are really good quality, really worth the money spending on those. And we won't be using many of these. Literally, a small handful is all you'll need of this massive bag here. Then we're gonna have 250 grams worth of minced pork. The fattier, the better, to be honest. We've got quarter teaspoon of sand ginger, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a third teaspoon of MSG, quarter teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of white pepper, pinch of five spice. It's really important not to go overboard with this. Loads of people do, but if you do, it makes it taste really perfumey and to me it's kind of off-putting. If you like it like that, by all means do that, but less is more in this instant. Then we've got two teaspoons of light soy and two teaspoons of dark soy. We are using these Amoy ones today, these first extract, and they're brilliant. Again, we sell these on our web store along with the noodles and all of the spices here. I, I can't rate these enough. We've got a review video of these on Chin and Chew Review, so I'll, I'll link that in the box above. Now time to put it all together. So we've got some vegetable oil here. Um, we're gonna fry this off on a high heat. You want it to be about 200 degrees before you put your noodles in and they'll literally be in there for a couple of seconds and they puff boom. up. Like that. You go boom really quickly, all right? So Turn I'm actually going to... Yeah? No. Yeah, so it's ready. I'm going to put the noodles on the, this and then lower them in. And watch that. Watch that. And take them out quick. Yeah. Otherwise they'll burn. Literally over in seconds. Done. Before you can fling your eye, it's already done. Now on to making the filling. Uh, yeah. So we've got about a tablespoon of oil in here at the moment. Vegetable oil, that is. Yeah, vegetable oil. And when that gets hot, we're gonna add the pork to it. I give my spoon, I cooked red wine. Well, I didn't just cook red wine, I made a bolognese and it had loads. Of, basically had a whole bottle of red wine in and it stained it. It's well seasoned, it's called. <laughs> yeah, it's not dirty. No, well it's seasoned. <laughs> it'll give, it well seasoned, it'll give plenty of more heat up. Yeah. <laughs> Can't stress this enough, don't put too much fire spice. spice. I know people want to, but it's just too much. You, just... you don't spray it in your mouth. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> no, you don't, do you, man? No. No. So, in goes the pork. Then, sizzling away, minced pork. Minced pork, yeah. yeah. And you want to really sort of cut this down. Yeah. And so, in smaller. Chunks. As it cooks though, that would naturally do it. Yeah. High fat content, so you want like 15-20% fat um, mint. You can have it with lean mint, it's just not nice. Yeah, it's dry. Yeah. But you go down to preference, okay? Cooking's always preference. Yeah. If you like you like what you like and there's nothing wrong with that. No. Let it tear and cooking for a little while. Yeah, you want to take that moisture out there. Yeah like you would with bacon, so it can start sort of um, caramelising, or browning I should say. These days there are so many words for everything, isn't it? Yeah, I mean that's what happens Look, when you have language. Yeah. 
Because you can call that a, a bowl and that a bowl and that a bowl and that a bowl. <laughs> can you? Yeah. Yeah. Just call it something you eat with. Just call it something you eat with. It can be on a table. So if any large bits you just want to chop up a little bit. Again, if you like the uh, larger chunks, by all means, don't do this. See, okay, so that liquid's gone now, and all you've got left is the fat. So now in goes your MSG, the salt, the pepper, pepper, five spice, sand ginger, garlic powder. Oh, yeah. Garlic powder, love, okay? Yeah. And you're just going to fry this for literally, turn the temperature down. Yeah. For 10, 15 seconds. Yeah, you can start smelling it now. And then in goes your... Soil. Dark soy. Not soil, mum. Uh, soil. Soy. Soy. Not soil. Soil is dirt. Oh, soy, <laughs> soy, soy. Yeah. And then what you, we're going to do is we're going to cook this down and render that... Um, the liquid. The liquid off, yeah. Oh, I can start smelling, I get a whiff of that five spice now. And I smell more, sand ginger. yeah, the sand ginger. Yeah. Honestly, sand ginger is a game changer. Yes, it, it is. It is difficult to get hold of, that's why we sell it on our web store. Not many people use the sand ginger. Only the best. Uh, to be fair, <laughs> yeah. a lot of the takeaways don't even know what sand ginger is. Yeah. <laughs> they're not chefs, they just bought a takeaway because they're Chinese. That's literally the truth. That's not all of them. I mean, like the old family run places are different, but you know when you have an old place and it changes, it's not the same, it's nowhere near as good. Someone who's not a chef has bought that, that's why. Who's not passionate about their food. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, looking good. So what you want to do is reduce this down a little bit. Because the um, soy has a little bit of sugar, it will caramelize and that's perfect. That's what you want. Yes, caramelize is called. Caramelize. 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 Yes, we'll stick with that one, yep. Caramelize. Yeah. There we go. Now let's build it. Yeah. Here we go. We sell these plates in the store, by the way. Yeah. Check out our web store. If you haven't already. Just to support us, if you'd like to. So we've actually washed and drained these already, as you can tell from the water on them. So we're going to get some nice looking ones here. And all you're going to do is fill them up. Yes. Get a spoon. So we're going to get a spoon, fill them up like that. Yeah, you can use iceberg letters, most, most of the places use, but we prefer the ice gem. Yeah, because it looks better. Yeah, and it just... Uh, it's got a better yeah. um, shape to it, better yes. crunch as well. It looks like oyster shape. Yeah. You know the oyster shape? It does a little bit, yeah. Yes. Does anybody like oyster? I do. I hate them. Oh, I like oyster. Do you know what I call them? Yeah. The worst. Is it? Yeah. No. We, down, no. Down the weir, we have an oyster um, a place right next door to us. So these will make about six of these. If you want to make any more, Wait. you just double up the ingredients yes. for whatever you want. So I'm going to plate up three. Yeah. And then this is the fun bit. You just get a load of your, crush it a little bit. The rice noodle on top, it look. And then you place the rice noodles on top. Yeah, it look amazing. Doing this during service is such a faff. That's why I don't actually serve these in my takeaway. Because it just takes too much lot, too long, and. And you cannot done it beforehand, is it? No, it has to be done on the fly. Yeah. yeah. And when you got orders coming out your ears, yeah. and there you have it, yok song. So I'm gonna try these for you guys in now. I have to take some photos for Instagram. So don't forget to follow us on TikTok. We're on there as well, James Food Workshop, um, Twitter and Instagram and whatever. Just follow us there, really. Yeah. Um, okay, so here we go. Pick up one of these and the shirt. Takes it up. Yeah. Right, so here we go. Down. Yeah. The chef of oyster. It is uh -huh. like a shape of voice actually, isn't it? Mm. Here we go. Mm. It's good. There's a crunch of the 
the vegetable and the crunch from the deep fried rice noodle. Mm, it's pretty. And the pork is well seasoned and it's tender and it's full of flavor. It's a snack. Remember, for more recipes like this, make sure you buy our cookbook. Only available at chinandchew.com. So, what was that? <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy cooking, happy eating. Oh, Jesus, could you want to do that all the time? <laughs> Here we go. Wait, second time lucky. Happy cooking, happy eating. There it is. Take care, guys.